All right, there we go. Hello everyone, how's it going? Team here and uh, this is another video game stream. Um, today I want to play a bit of Frozen Synapse 2 before we start. A shout out to GOG.com for hooking me up with a copy of this. If you guys want to pick it up, there is a link in the description and in my profile on Twitch if you're watching this right now. Um, you can pick it up using that referral link and uh, support me a bit if you like the game. Right, so I played the first one and I quite liked it. I have heard a lot of mixed things about the second one, but you know, I really like the mechanics of the game, so we're gonna give it a shot. Uh, meanwhile, if you have any software development questions, we're just gonna turn this into a software development live stream because why the hell not? You know, feel free to send them in the chat and um, I can just, we can discuss stuff while I'm playing video games because why the hell not? All right, um, I guess let's go for the, um, here's a question. Can I make the UI slightly larger? Um, doesn't really seem so. Oh well, I guess, um, yeah, you know what? Let's just play tutorial. Let's see if there's anything that's actually major changes in this version. And this font is tiny as hell. My eyesight is... Ugh. Okay. Um, this highlighted unit is currently carrying some data of great imports. Uh, we need to extract it by moving the gray extraction area. Okay. Uh, or by using arrow keys. Okay, so this is camera panning. Got it. Uh, zoom in and zoom out. Okay, you can left click him. Double click to create a waypoint, okay. Imagine I can drag them around, right? Uh, okay, and I can test it out. So if you never played the game, the idea is that uh, you plan what's gonna happen and you predict where the enemies are gonna go and then you and enemies execute at the same time so you don't actually know what will happen but you have to sort of plan for all the outcomes. In this case, the, uh, because we have this um, guy with the flamethrower, he just flames us, basically. Okay, backspace to delete the last waypoints. Uh, sure, there we go. So we move a bit further. Um, well, wait, we are gonna prime right away? Okay, well, let's try. And then you see the outcome and you actually see what's gonna happen. Okay, yeah, 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 come on. Okay, so we're far enough from the flamethrower so we didn't actually die, which is a good thing. Okay, so we got some time. So this guy's gonna go further. And we're gonna shoot him in the head. Highlight enemy will run out on attack vector, okay. Oh, so now you can actually plan for enemies as well. So before you couldn't do that, I think, they only, unless I missed something in the first part, but I don't think you could do that. Okay, believe the enemy, yeah, exactly. So now you can actually, if he comes there, I'm dead, okay. So I basically need to get rid of two of them now. Aim handle and aim over there. Press T to show... Uh, what? The T shows the target acquired... There's not a button or space bar, okay. That did not work out. <laughs> okay, so he's behind the cover, that's why we are screwed. Okay, adjust the aim. Okay. And, uh... Giving us an entry unit will aim the point. I'll show you how to do that. You can place orders anywhere just by... a left click. Cancel aim order in the menu. 
This one? No. How does it work? Oh, there we go. Okay, cancel aim. So basically, he will aim that way while walking up until here and then cancel it and then start looking forward again. Okay. Now let's see what happens. So, and we're dead because this guy is not yet out. Okay. Setting the highlight the pen and right mouse button and we wait here for a few seconds. Uh, so we want to wait for two and a half. And this text is tiny as hell. My eyes hurt just by looking at that. They really need to add some UI scaling in this. Like, come on, this 2018. You have to have UI scaling in your games. Ooh, that was lucky. Okay. Um run for it yeah we can make a run for it what is what open the orders menu and continue on site oh okay so he he will either wait two and a half seconds or will continue on site well there so what do you want me to do this and engage on site so this means he will attack the other enemy what are you prime are you gonna you know, just bad that he will run fast enough there. What? No, wait for real. Does that work? Yeah. Hostile okay, they kill this one. We kill this one. Just run. Hostile I kill the last. Okay. Well, that somehow worked out. Okay. All right, uh, well, so far that's more or less the same as was in the first game, but let's see, our team needs to take out those enemies, blah, 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 okay, then we'll take cover. Normal turns last five seconds. However, a long turn is a turn which will end all your units reach the end of their plans. Okay. Uh-huh. Oh, this is the long turn. Rocket launcher guy and rocket destroy walls. So we gotta aim here, I guess. Double click the area to make the waypoints. Uh, okay. Um, is this the area I wanna go? I'm, I'm a bit confused. Yeah, this is like a, the way we want to go, right? No? Okay, game? What? Nope. Okay, wait a second. So we got this. We aim over there. We shoot there, right? It's already a second shot, I think. Yeah, there you go. So we shoot here. And then double click to move. Oh, there's the area. God damn it. Okay, uh, let's test it. But you're supposed to shoot it. Okay, wait a second. He did not shoot that wall, so. Steps. No, that's not the. Sh that's like aim there. Right? And. This is aim, yes. Can I... Where's the shoot button? Did that actually shoot? No, it's just... Oh, yeah. Okay, that does shoot. There we go. That blows those guys up. And then afterwards, we go here. I don't know why we want to go there, but let's do that anyway. Right, so we got one guy with the pistol, two guys with the rifles. Um, restart scenario, leave tutorial. Yeah, let's... You know what? Let's leave tutorial and try the real, real thing. You see the game. Compete with many warring factions to gain control uh, over the vast complex city. Um, okay, there's also multiplayer. You know what? Let's try, let's try the city game. Let's see what is this about. Easy mode. Disable store. Now, you know what? Let's just go for whatever the default options are. But the... <laughs> Man, why do game not, like... How hard is it to add the UI scaling to your game? Like, come on, I have a terrible eyesight. Why do I have to squint to read this text? Okay, yes. Okay, this is our base. 
got it. So, would you like to run CD interface tutorial? Uh, yes, sure. So that was not the whole tutorial. Basic uh, right mouse button to move. Okay, so the same use mouse wheel to scroll. Yes, I got that. Uh, hold down the middle mouse button and move. Okay, so you can tilt here a bit. Sure, guys, this uh, HQ to zoom. Uh, there it is. Okay, so this is our HQ thing. Set the location window. You can use it to set, slam the next sign directly underneath the text to continue. Yes, okay. Uh, you'll be reporting to me directly. Okay, you require to send your military assets. Okay. Uh, okay. You got a bit of a story going on here. All right. Uh, let's take a look at the map use. Okay, so there's like a map use. Um, where are they? Shape control. Is that? This is the map, right? No, this is the. It's so tiny. God damn it. Squads, controls. Oh, there we go. Okay, this is what we want to see. Okay. Uh, district shows information about the city. Okay. Start advancing time. All right, so it is real time as well, I guess. Immediate assistance. Okay. Important events will pause the game. Action token to give information and ignore them if you want. Okay, so there's our action happening. You can actually static text in here. Okay, that's kind of neat. Click on this small magnifying glass. Yeah, magnifying glass would not hurt for sure. Never know, so let's try to get to it. Send squad, yes, let us send squad. Uh, I guess this is our only squad right now. Uh, yeah, okay, so we press play and I guess we see our squad moving there, okay. It's very XCOM-like, actually. It's a bit interesting. Strike team have arrived. Uh, give orders, yes, sure. So, is there any info about it or attack? Okay, I guess we don't really get any info from now. But you can see some stuff in there, okay. So now we get to the the core gameplay, basically. Oh, that's kind of neat. I like it. All right. We got a bit more backstory of what's going on here. You know what? I'm just going to skip it because we are... I just want to murder eight people, right? Who cares about this? Okay, so I'm guessing this... Gray area is what we cannot see, what we don't know about, right? So there's unknown factors here, and unknown factors there. And those red things are probably windows. Okay, um, how do we do about this? I guess it's just go, no, that's a terrible way to go. Okay, and you know what? Let's just delete all of that. I mean, like undo everything. It'd be nice to have an undo button here, but like, no. Oh, I guess this is... Ah, okay, so you can deploy them within this area and then you could just be like, okay, just run this way, I guess, while aiming there. Uh, no, I don't care about aiming at this spot, but I guess, you know what, I'm gonna flank here. And what? Why do you... What is... This? Oh, it's a huge wall. Okay, I'm an idiot. So I cannot go there because it's a big wall. Okay. That explains it. I was like, why do you want to go so far around? Okay, um... Well, let's take it slow and easy. You just go here, and you go here. And then you just watch all of this way, and you are gonna watch this way. Uh, so we test it. I don't think there's any enemies around here, so we just... I guess we're gonna prime that. And hope we're not get not gonna get murdered in the first step, essentially. Yeah, we're good. Okay. So now you are gonna go in and start watching this way. And then just go here, here, and then keep watching this way. Because I am terrified of that area. 
Okay, you're gonna enter and start watching this way and uh, proceed here. And then watch this way, I guess. Okay. No, that's a terrible thing to do. So I guess we can just break it and cancel aim here. They should just like cover this area a bit and then switch and go yep what about this guy he's looking there he's looking forwards uh yeah that looks fine you know let's let's try this out okay um hopefully no enemy is hiding behind the horse this to be what are we done yeah we are okay so I, oh yeah, because we're doing the five second turn, so I guess it wasn't enough, right? There we go. Whoa! Okay. That is a thing. I don't know what thing, but I'm now terrified. Uh, so we're not gonna go there completely. We delete all of that and be like, okay, you're gonna stay here, but look over there. Now this guy... Need this and you're gonna watch this way yeah this should be good right okay there's a guy I can see him moving and if he comes this way we're gonna kill him that sounds good enough come on there we go okay one guy down how many hostiles do we have we don't actually know okay so cancel aim and then, um, I'm scared there might be hostiles over there, so I'm just gonna make a run here and then start watching this side. I don't know if we can do it in five seconds, but uh, let's try anyway. So let's cancel aim. I don't know, do I want to start advancing there? Yes, I do, because I don't really have a choice. But we, uh, we probably can't reach it. In... Maybe we can, right? And nearly. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. You're gonna start aiming this way. These are gonna be walking way slower, but... I'm gonna split this and start aiming there. Yep, that looks fine. Okay, this guy... Um, yeah, I guess you just aim there and then start walking. Yeah, let's prime that. Hopefully there are no enemies from like corners and I'm not gonna die a terrible death like this. This those yellow ones are civilians, right? Okay, we're still alive, that's a good thing. Why are you still looking that way? You dummy. Okay, um, yes, we said this, so first of all, start aiming here. And walk here, I guess. Okay, this guy is so far so good. Here's the question what does this red area do? And this one is that the how you breach the door? Uh, focus zone, ignore zone. Continue on sides, ignore on a very enemies, drop items. There is so many things you can do, it's insane. Can you do something to the door? Okay, okay, if I here's the question. If I stand there, will something happen? It turns green. I Oh, the door on the other end opens. Okay. If this guy goes here. Wait, what just happened? So if he goes there. This thing turns green. I guess if I stand there, the other door will open. Uh, uh, okay, I'll just, you know what? I'll just, uh, I'm not gonna stand on this thing. I'm just gonna go hope that there's basically no enemies anywhere around here. 
know what, let's just take it easy and uh, slowly. No, let's just aim like this, just to be sure there's nobody on the left side from us. And you are, yeah, you're gonna come here and start looking uh, forward, I guess. This guy's fine. This guy's fine as well. Let's prime it. Okay, no enemies over there. Let's see. Oh! Wait. So how do we know um, both doors open now? What? High intensity propagation geometric illuminance. Okay. Uh, yeah. One, two, three enemies. How do I go about that? And flame. Run over here and start aiming this way, I guess. Through with this guy. Uh, let's cancel aim and then run. I gotta wanna shoot through the windows because this will result in people dying. Wanna flank them, I guess, maybe? I wanna check out this thing, maybe? Um, I guess it's also a good idea. Wait a second. So you're gonna go here and then you're gonna start aiming there just in case. So this guy comes here. Yep, that looks good. Okay, those guys just left. I don't have line of sight. What is this? No need to pick up. Oh, so I found some money and they will be collected at the end of the game. Okay, that's that's always good. So I guess this is like a barrier. All right, you know what? Let's just advance slowly to this barrier while keeping aim over there. Now this guy. Keep aiming here. Yeah, let's see how this works. So he's probably gonna go here. Probably gonna go here and I don't know what this one will do. Okay, let's try it out. Probably gonna get the murder terribly, but let's try it anyway. Uh, yeah, there we go, we got one. People started running. Okay, so this guy covers this thing pretty good. I cannot go through, right? Yeah, okay, no, 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 no. no. Okay, I can use middle mouse button. This is quite handy. Right, so we're gonna use this guy to... So they are gonna try to push me now, I'm guessing. And it doesn't... So, okay. In the previous game, we kind of tried... The game itself tried to show you what's gonna happen. But this time around, it doesn't even show it. So I'm guessing they're gonna go and try to investigate this. I don't know about the second guy, though. Um... Maybe he's gonna come here or something. If this guy comes, we're gonna... Yep, he's dead base. Okay, so let's try this setup. So if this guy tries to hide in the other room, we should get him as well. Eh, what? What I was... How are you so bad at shooting? Okay. So aim here and then start walking over here. Right? Now you... He doesn't he, he aims over there, so we can actually make a run for it. That's still gonna be aiming that way. Okay, we're good. And we should get him. So unless unless he now nah, that should work, theoretically. <laughs> right, let's try. Okay, so far so good. I think I want to cancel aim and go over here and then start aiming there and then the next turn I can just pop out of the wall and try to kill them unless they maybe it's a good idea to aim like keep aiming there just in case yeah I think we're good okay you just keep aiming into the door in case those guys try to go in. Oh, 
Oh, come on. That was a clear shot there. Okay, so we can use this guy. Oh, man, they're behind the cover as well. I don't really want to advance on them because this is probably going to end up badly. So let's see. We, no, we actually don't cancel him. We just re-aim over here. And then go here. Um, yeah, I guess like this. Okay, so probably will kill them or maybe will die himself. Meanwhile, um, so if we put this guy here and keep aiming over here. Okay, so even if they move, that should theoretically work out. Yes, if I'm lucky. Let's check this out. They, what? They just literally run away. Okay, one guy left. Uh, oh god, how do I push him in a way that I doesn't kill me, basically? So you just aim there and go here, right? Just keep aiming. Oh boy, okay, how do we do this? Uh, can I just, like, step out and uh, murderate him? Will that work? That should work, right? And if he doesn't, if he runs away in this room, we should be able to intercept him. Okay, let's see. And now I just spectacularly die. Hey, that worked! Nice! Okay, I actually predicted it quite well. <laughs> Perfect. Okay, so we got the end mission button somewhere. There we go. I mean, that wasn't too bad. I have not lost anyone and I neutralized all the people and I even got some money. I don't, don't know what the money does, so we're gonna find out in a second, I guess. Captured some loot. Yes, uh, let's do it manually this time. Select our HQ and interact. I'll click send squad here and we select the squad. Okay. Uh, so I guess we we'll wait for the squad to... Yeah, this is like very XCOM. Um, don't say uh, like you know I don't dislike it. Upgrade an item which can be installed at your IQ, um, HQ IQ. What? No, that's that's not a thing. Okay. Uh, would you like to activate this relic? Would you like to store standard take a? Yeah. Okay. Let's store this. Uh, install anything here? So in track, in track. No. Yes. This is what you want me to do. Once a relic has been installed the base, it can be taken by another faction. Oh, it can't be taken by another faction. Okay. Installation process takes a while, though. Okay, ah, I see. What does a relic give you? Installing relics and completing contracts encourages companies to license their... Uh, that for mercenaries to us. Okay. This text is tiny. It's just painful to read. Okay. I have highlighted it for you. Highlighted what? Click on the Merc Market. Oh, there we go. There's the Merc Market. Okay, they can basically hire mercenaries. Select the mercenary you like the look of. So, I would like... Green... What is this thing? Shotgun. Okay. Uh, knife, SMG. Can I have a sniper? You know what? Grenade launcher sounds fun. Yes, uh, dash and click sign mercenary. Okay, so we got the mercenary and we can uh, throw them into the team. That's Merc to squad. Okay, so we had the guy with the grenade launcher now. Um, this, if you want a help mode. Okay, so there's the help mode. Yes. Track to do things. Okay. All right, um, I guess now we should just capture some. Okay, so yes, we want to store our bond here. All right, team arrived, engineers and starting rank, service contracts, what is this? I have no idea what any of this does. <laughs> this tutorial was not even enough to understand what's happening. Okay, I guess, can we just like attack something? Military installation. Um, uh, private police station, I guess. Just attacking them is probably a terrible... Plan, especially considering how many stars they have. This, this seems... Yeah, there you go. There's uh, heavy metals fabrication. So I guess you need to capture buildings. 
this one, so, okay. Uh, you know what, we're not gonna do anything, let's just wait a bit. And wait for the event, I guess. So, those things, can I actually capture, wait a second, can I capture those things? And squad here, what's gonna happen? Like, yeah, there you go, the strike team, yes. And interact, and it's a top deployment, what does this do? You can literally go into any square and set up a deployment. Set item storage button. Ooh, okay. Uh huh. Okay, I see. So you can literally use any square to store your stuff. That's interesting. All right, you know what? This is extremely confusing and very painful to read, so let's <laughs> just end the stream here. It was... I mean, it's... I really like the gameplay itself, but man, this game needs some work. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. This was uh, Frozen Synapse 2. Hope you enjoyed it. Um, and yeah, i see you next time. Bye!